hello everyone here i have created a view in which this circle or this ball continuously keeps moving and it changes direction whenever it hits the wall so i will show you how to create this in canvas in sketchware so it is very simple and here in sketchware i have set it to full screen and i have added this view called linear 2 with uh, width and height 200 and 250 you can keep any width or height it doesn't matter even if i make it small it will still work and i have set the padding to zero okay that's all here now in and also i have set this background color and in sounds i have imported this sound which is for this sound effect okay and then i have created a more block called canvas you can give any name to this more block and here i have closed this more block in the beginning also itself and in the end i have opening curly bracket now in between i have this code for animate view which is a new class and it extends view so it is a view class and i'll show you this code in a code editor so that you can understand better so here is the code and here you can see it is a public class animate view this is the name of this class and the type of this class is view now it contains these variables it has a paint variable called my paint and this will be used to draw the ball and i have a mode for x which is set to 1 and mode for y which is set to 1 so when it is moving towards the right i will set x to 1 and when it is moving towards left i will set mode x to minus 1 similarly when it is moving down i will set mode y to 1 and when it is moving up i will set mode y to minus 1 then i have set speed to 4 which is a constant and i have set radius to 30 this is radius of the ball and this is also constant then i have set the initial distance x to radius and distance y to radius so this distance x and distance y is the x and y position of center of the ball or center of the circle and tx is time and ty is also time and that is set to zero initially and i have a sound pool variable called sound underscore pool then this is the constructor animate view and it takes context so it has this context super context and inside this i define my paint as new paint then i define sound pool as new sound pool one this is the stream count comma audio manager dot stream music comma zero so this will be a new sound pool and then in this sound pool i load context comma r dot raw dot blob comma one so this blob is the music file or the sound file and it is stored in raw folder so i have used r dot raw dot blob so this way i load the music after this i have this on draw method which contains this canvas okay and here i set an int variable called view width to this dot get measured width and view height to this dot get measured height then for my paint i set the style to style dot fill after this for my paint i set stroke width to 8 actually this is not required when i am using fill so i'll just remove this so and then i've set the color for this my paint to red and then i draw the circle at distance x center and distance y center so initially distance x and distance y are set to radius so that will be at the radius which is 30 
and then this is the radius which is 30 comma my pin. So, it will be at the top left corner because the distance x is 30, distance y is 30 and radius is also 30. Okay, and after drawing the ball, I check if distance x is more than view width minus radius. This means if distance x is more than the width of the view. Okay, if it is more than width of the view, then I set t x to 0. The time x will be 0 and mode x will be minus 1. So, it will start coming back from there and I will play the sound. Means if it hits, this means it hits the right side of the wall, the right wall. So, in, at that time, I will play this sound by using this code sound pool dot play 1 comma 1 1.0 f comma 1 1.0 f comma 1 comma 0 comma 1 1.0 f. This will play the sound else if distance x is less than radius and if it hits the left side of the wall at that time distance x will get less than radius and there I will set the time x to 0, the mode x to 1 and I will play the sound ok and then I will increase the time x t x plus plus and after this if I check this mode x if mode x is equal to minus 1 then I set distance x to view width minus radius minus speed into time x and if it is not minus 1 means if it is 1 then I set distance x to 30 plus speed into time x. So, this is when it is moving towards right the distance will be 30 plus speed into time and when it is moving towards left the distance will be distance x will be view width in view width minus radius minus speed into time ok. So, actually it is the view width minus speed into time, but for subtracting the radius of the ball I have subtracted this radius here ok. Similarly, for y axis we have same code if distance y is more than view height minus radius ok means it when it hits the bottom of the view then I set t y to 0 and mode y to minus 1 and so I play the sound using this code else if distance y is less than radius which means if hits the top of the screen then I set t y to 0 and mode y to 1 and play the sound and then I have set t y plus plus and after this if mode y is equal to minus 1 then distance y is equal to view height minus radius minus speed into time y else distance y is equal to radius plus speed into time y and after this I invalidate. So, after setting the distance x and distance y when I click on invalidate means I when I set invalidate here it will redraw itself. So, here you can see the time has increased and the distance has changed. So, when it will redraw it will again draw the circle with new distance x and new distance y and once this is drawing is complete it will again redraw and like this it will keep redrawing indefinitely or continuously it will keep redrawing itself and keep moving. So, that is all in this code here I close the on draw method and then I close this class. Now, let us move to sketchware. So, here I have this opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket also. Now, I use this animate view name of this is animate view ok you can give a different name and the same name you have to keep here. So, I use this in on create to set the view of linear 2 linear 2 dot add view new animate view this we can also set it as the view of uh, a dialog box and even if the dimensions are different like if, if I make it smaller ok let us say 100 dp width and let us make the height 300 dp and let us see what happens. So, here is the view 
and you can see it works with this view of different dimension also so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this